Now, defending champions of France have been hit by a massive blow ahead of their World Cup opener against Australia on Tuesday. Alonso winner and reigning European Player of the Year, Karim Benzema, has been ruled out due to injury. Benzema has been battling injury problems in the lead-up to the tournament and had played just 26 minutes of competitive football over the last month. He took part in his first training session with the two-time world champions on Saturday evening and pulled up following a sprint towards the end of that session. An MRI revealed a muscle tear in his left thigh that will take a minimum of three weeks to heal. France begin their title defence on Tuesday against Australia and can name a replacement player by Monday. This will be the first instance of a reigning Balanza or winner missing the World Cup since 1978. A gutted Benzema wrote on social media, and I quote, I've never given up in my life, but tonight I have to think of the team as I have always done. So reason tells me to give my place to someone who can help our squad have a great World Cup. Thanks for all your messages of support. Now, Benzema's injury adds to the headaches of the head coach, Didier Deschamps. Now, two stalwarts of the victorious 2018 campaign, Paul Pogba and N'Golo Conte, were ruled out last month, while current Bundesliga top scorer, Christopher Nkunku, and the defender, Presnel Kempembe, were ruled out last week. There are also concerns about the fitness of the central defender, Rafael Baron. Now, Benzema was France's top scorer at the 2014 World Cup, but wasn't picked for the 2018 edition due to off-field issues related to the blackmail attempt on former teammate Matthew Verbon Enner. Now, Dejan has ended his exile ahead of the 2020 European Championships, and the 34-year-old was top scorer again with four goals. He was instrumental in Real Madrid's La Liga and the Champions League triumphs last season, and was top scorer in both competitions. Much controversy, the showpiece event kicks off in Qatar, and the first match will see the hosts lock horns with Ecuador in Group A. Qatar is participating in the World Cup for the first time in history, while their South American opponents, Ecuador, make a return after an eight-year absence. Qatar, the 2019 AFC Asian Cup champions, go into the match after five consecutive friendly victories against Albania, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras and Panama. Now, even though they are not expected to go past the group stage, Felix Sanchez's men, who are in Group A, along with Africa Cup of Nations champion Senegal and the 2010 World Cup finalists Netherlands, will try to defy expectations. A victory will see the host nation make history as the only AFC nation to win their first ever World Cup showdown. Para nosotros un día histórico, un día de felicidad para nosotros como los jugadores y y el staff, pues a nivel futbolístico un día único y repetible, pero yo creo que para para el país con el esfuerzo que se ha puesto el, el El país se ha volcado con el con el mundial, pues esperemos que sea una una fiesta donde la gente pueda disfrutar de un gran espectáculo futbolístico eh, y fuera del campo, pues también la, la, las distintas gente de los distintos países eh, conviviendo juntos también sea una gran experiencia para todo el mundo y bueno, pues contentos de ser los que vamos a inaugurar y dar el pistoletazo de salida a la competición. Qatar wasn't the only nation to be marred with controversy as their opponents, Ecuador, were almost on the verge of expulsion from the tournament following Byron Castillo's eligibility. However, they are now all set to make their return to the marquee event after missing out a place in the previous edition in Russia in 2018. Ecuador are 44th in the world rankings, only six places higher than Qatar, but has the experience of playing at the biggest stage, having made appearances at three editions of the competition in 2002, 2006 and 2014. The former West Ham forward Enna Valencia leading the lineup. They'll try and make their presence felt. Bueno, al, al saber que no iba a tocar, a, no, no va a tocar abrir el, el Mundial con Qatar, fue algo... Muy especial para nosotros, 
porque creo que todo, en todo el mundo seremos vistos el primer partido inaugural, vamos a abrir el mundial y creo que mucha gente nos va a estar viendo, tanto a nosotros como a Qatar y, y eso es muy, muy, muy emotivo para nosotros porque podemos demostrar, eh, podemos demostrar este, podemos demostrar en la cancha eh, quiénes somos. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.